from time to time, you may have an issue with Zoom, uh, losing connection, maybe cutting in and out. And there's a few things that you can do to both either prevent that or try to make sure you're using the least amount of internet possible uh, to make sure that your experience works well. Uh, the first thing I'd recommend is at the start of the day, uh, it's a good idea that if you swipe down from the upper right hand corner uh, and simply turn your Wi-Fi off, tap OK, and then simply turn it back on to be able to reconnect. Uh, it's never a bad idea just to simply turn your Wi-Fi off and on just to reboot that connection every day, uh, especially once you're set in the location where you're going to be Zooming. Uh, if you're moving around from room to room in your house, then sometimes it will jump back and forth from one uh, network to the next. And so it always typically works best if you can turn Wi-Fi off and then back on again once you're settled in. Another thing I'd recommend that you do is close any app that you're not using except for Canvas and Zoom. And you can do that by simply double tapping on the home button on your iPad. And when I double tap, it'll show me all the apps I have open at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my finger on an app and swipe up to close that app. So I'm going to leave Canvas Student open and I'm going to leave Zoom open. But I'm going to go ahead and close any other app that I am not using. I can even use two fingers at the same time if I want. I also want to make sure that I'm logged into the Zoom app as a user. So if I opened up Zoom, I want to make sure that if I open up that app that I am signed in as a user uh, that looks like this. I should see my Google icon in the upper left hand corner showing that I am logged in. And if I tapped on settings at the bottom, I would see my psdr3.org account. Uh, if not, I could go ahead and tap on that account and tell it to sign out. And then back from this main menu, tell it to sign in. And I want sign in with SSO as my option. And with sign in with SSO, I should see PSDR3-ORG. I simply hit return on my keyboard or go. And it will take me, ask me to log into my Google account. Open up that page. And now I am directly in my Zoom app this way. So now that I've made sure that I only have a couple apps open, I've recycled my Wi-Fi off and on, and I've made sure that I'm officially logged into my Zoom app, I should be ready to go with my Zoom meetings today. Now I want to make sure that anytime I'm accessing my Zoom meetings that I'm doing it through the Canvas app. So you always want to make sure that you're going to the app first, and then you're tapping on the specific course for that teacher, and that you find the Zoom link for that teacher and simply tap on it. Some of them are going to require passwords, some of them may not. So some of them may let you go right in, and some of them may simply ask you to uh, pick and choose whether or not you need to sign in or not. And again, once you've signed into the Zoom app once, it should take you straight in and you don't have to sign in anymore. Now, once I join, I can simply call in using internet audio. That just means my internet uh, or my voice is going to be sent across the internet. And now I'm connected in that Zoom. Now, once I'm connected to my Zoom, I do have the ability to choose whether I'm going to view things in gallery view or in active speaker view. And I will tell you, active speaker view is the one that uses the least amount of internet. Uh, I have only two feeds of internet going on here. I have myself in one window and then I have the uh, speaker in the other and that's the only thing that it's loading. The gallery view, which would show everyone that's connected, is actually going to have more streams of um, live video coming into my app at the same time and it actually uses more internet than what my speaker view does. So again, if I'm having problems in app while I'm in the middle of a conference and it's skipping, um, I want to make sure I'm on an active speaker view and not um, gallery view. That's one thing I can do to help. it. I can also turn off things like virtual backgrounds. So I have the ability to change my virtual background under my three dots in a meeting. But those virtual backgrounds also require more power from my iPad at the same time. So if I'm using a virtual background uh, while I'm chatting and I'm having issues or things are freezing and pausing and cutting in and out, it's a good idea to simply go to my virtual backgrounds and switch that to none to make sure uh, that, again, I get the best signal possible.
Now, sometimes you might be using an app and some weird things might happen. Maybe your audio is cutting in and out, or maybe uh, you freeze or the speaker freezes and they can't hear what you're saying, or you might get some error messages or something that pops up on the screen. If things like that happen, the best thing to do is to simply leave that meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap and then tap the leave button in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to tell it to leave that meeting. Now that is going to actually exit the Zoom meeting that I was in before. And then once I've done that, I'm going to hit the home button to go back to my main page. And then I'm actually going to double tap the home button and I'm going to swipe up to tell Zoom to quit. So when I swipe up, that quit the Zoom app. And now I can simply tap to go back into my student app, tap my Zoom link again, and it will relaunch that Zoom app and take me back into that meeting. Now, if you've tried all those steps and you still don't have um, any luck trying to get uh, your issues worked out, uh, there's two last final steps that you can do. Uh, the first is simply to restart your iPad. So if I'm holding my iPad like this, the button is on the left-hand side of my case in the upper uh, left-hand corner. And if I push and hold down that button for uh, probably about five or six seconds, I'm going to get a message that asks me to power off. I could simply slide to power off and turn my device off. And then after a few seconds, hit the uh, button again to turn that app or the iPad back on. Now, it's also a good idea to make sure you leave your iPad plugged in anytime that you are Zooming. Zoom uses a ton of battery life. And so if you are um, even fully charged at the beginning of the day, it's totally normal that by the end of the day, your iPad will be less than half charged, if not worse. So if you have the ability to leave your iPad plugged in throughout the day, that will also help uh, maintain your battery life and make sure that things uh, last throughout all of your meetings and that you don't have to drop off halfway through the day because you don't have battery. Now, one last step was if you are still having multiple internet issues or having a bunch of problems, um, the last thing that you can try doing is to actually reset or restart your uh, Wi-Fi in your um, home. And now I would first of all make sure you have parent permission to do this because this will drop any internet connected device off of your uh, network on your in your house. So this will kick a lot of things off and then they'll have to reconnect when you uh, restart that device. But uh, with your parents permission, if you disconnect uh, or just simply unplug your Wi-Fi router, let it sit for about 30 seconds and then plug it back in again. It should take a couple minutes to come back up and then your devices will all one by one start reconnecting. So a lot of times you may have just some generic traffic coming through on your internet and unplugging uh, and plugging it back in will simply reset all of that. It's also a good idea to talk to your parents about restarting your internet, normally about once a week. Experts normally recommend that if you unplug your Wi-Fi router or hotspot uh, once a week and let it sit for about 30 seconds and plug it in again, that that ends up solving a lot of Wi-Fi issues that you have uh, throughout the week. A lot of people choose to do that maybe on a Sunday night or uh, early in the morning on a time when that's not being uh, used as much. Those are just a few tips and things you can use to try to make Zoom more reliable for